How this space could accommodate different size groups um, in, as well as individuals and uh, so there's a lot of op opportunities for seating that's pretty flexible and um, and then I have to think about offshore things so uh, I wanted to put in some offshore things or off sim I should say and um, you you can cam out and sit in one of the chairs out there um, there's also a little dock to the right which is um, got four chairs on it which you can also sit out there and you know like if you have a group and you want to have a group discussion those kind of areas could work for that and other than that I just wanted it to be just a really kind of relaxing place to be excellent and if you if you turn around and look behind us you can see Venice there you can see that that exhibit area is um, you know that's a temporary exhibit but it, it's sort of like we're thinking that people will bring a little example of their work in here and then we'll share it with others as librarians, um, you know, for a time and maybe have tours. And, and just as though as books come into physical world libraries, we share them, we do book talks, we talk about them, and then it becomes a dynamic learning space. And I wanted to take the opportunity to try to kind of add on to what the poet had said. And that's kind of a, that's a real challenge because the poet has his, their own idea about what they have said. But in a way we were collaborating in, an, in a very interesting way because I was taking their words and trying to make it into something that would amplify the meaning, I mean, alleged, you know, the, the meaning that I got out of it. And um, so it was really an interesting exercise from that standpoint. And then also to design objects that um, would fit into the landscape, into this small little landscape, and be different from each other um, in object. I, I, what I did to research it was I looked at actual um, poetry gardens that are put up all over the United States and really all over the world, but um, where they interpret poems in the landscape in interesting ways, and it just opened up a lot of possibilities. Thank you.